All right, so, well, with all that, that's not even what I wanted to look at. Okay, so with that, I've got Chiaki finished up, so that's pretty cool. So, the question is, do I start somebody completely new? Or... A large part of me does not want to spend time with Nagito, but... I feel like I should finish up Sonya and Nagito first, then I can go to the others. Then again, we're on day three. Well, hang on, let me just count really quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Okay, so that's not enough time for everybody. That's not enough time for everybody. So it's actually looking like I'm probably going to have to go through this at least two times. Um, I'll probably do some editing shenanigans to make that more palatable. Okay, so then if that's the case, and I don't have time for literally everybody, then I should focus on the characters I'd actually really like to uh, fully rank up, I'd say. So, not that I dislike Sonya by any stretch of the imagination. At all. In fact, she's, up, she's pretty high up on the list. There is a character I would like to spend more time with. Two characters specifically that um, I wanted to spend time with. All right, so that's a problem. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> but um, I, I didn't because either I didn't think that they were going to survive for very long or I for one other reason or another. And ultimately, I was right. You can't say I'm not. But I like Pekko. I want to I wanna hang out with Pekko. I want to I wanna see... What the the full story with her is when I when I get the whole thing done. So let's uh, do that. However, I might lose my edge by staying here. Perhaps running along the beach would provide sufficient training. Then, all right, you run too. Leg strength is crucial for all things, and there is never a downside to training. Well, unless you're injured, in which case there are many downsides to that. I spent time today running countless laps along the beach with Pekko. Good thing I'm playing as Hajime, not myself. I think Pekka and I grew a little closer. Would I like to give her a gift? I would. All right, so is it possible that I managed to collect more of those... Uh... Aw, her backpack. Wait, hang on. Uh, apparently, it was a present from a certain gaming magazine. Neat. All right, and these are uh, things I got at the, uh, the end of the game. Very interesting. All right, but uh, hang on a second. It should be somewhere around here. You know what? Fine. Fujihiko's favorite underwear. Despite that, it doesn't seem like he wears them because he likes them. Apparently, he doesn't have strong feelings towards his underwear. As most people generally don't. Just read the word. It's not a dirty word. Just read it. Akane's favorite panties. They emphasize freedom of movement so they don't interfere with fighting. Chiaki's favorite panties. The cute 8-bit pixel pattern is both retro and modern. Delightful. And we already read those. Okay, so, uh, the Secret Wind Sword Book. There we go. I've got at least three of these. All right. Gat gives me time. Wait. Is it really acceptable for me to receive this? No. No, I will not question your sincerity. Thank you, Hajime. It's cool that we're hanging out, but we're not really talking about anything. Hey, Pekko, do you like Kendo? Well, considering that's apparently a kendo stick she's carrying and she's the ultimate swordswoman, I'm going to guess maybe. Yes. Cool. This conversation isn't progressing! Uh, is your house a kendo dojo? Sort of. I know more about your backstory. S sort of? Is there something wrong with that? N no, I was just wondering. Pekko's stare is really intense. The fact that her eyes are bright red don't help. It might be best if I change the subject. Uh, let's see. A topic that probably won't offend her too much. Ah, I know. Pekko. What level are you? Could it be? Are you talking about my kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to their years of training. However, I have no need for that. She's just that damn awesome! Why? Don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? No. I have no such aim. My destination has already been decided. Protect who I must protect, cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose of the sword. That is true. 
Wielding a blade in its truest sense is my aim. And so. That is my reason for existing. I imagine there's going to be a tinge of sadness to these, uh... I want to keep calling them social links, even though that's not what they are. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. I see. Pekka isn't just a typical kendo athlete. She truly is the ultimate swordswoman. How could I ask such a foolish question about levels? I feel a fool! I don't really know much about kendo, but I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. What? Really cool? You say such strange things. Well, I mean, it's it's an, it's an, an objective fact. You are awesome. No one has ever said that to me before. Uh, well, th thank. Th never mind. Aw, embarrass. She seems very awkward. Is she blushing? However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What did you lose? Fluffiness? Fluffiness? Yes. There are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. Like... Animals? I guess? The cat that came to visit the dojo, my childhood friend's dog, and even the finch I had as a pet. Why? But all animals can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. Oh, that's really sad. You're like that one girl from, from Azamonga Daya who just wanted to pet the kitty. I just want to touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. I see. That's really painful. I'm really surprised. I thought she was going to talk about an event from her past or something. I mean, this is an event from her past. Animals run away from her and she just wants to touch their softness. Oh, then what about asking Gundam if you could touch his hamsters the next time you see him? He might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I, I mean, I was actually going to suggest the same thing. I mean, yeah, he's an eccentric guy, but he knows animals. Also, since his hamsters are called the four dark devas of destruction, they might not get scared of me and run away. I should look for Gundam right now. Her, her eyes look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hey. Hajime, thank you for your advice. If you'd like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Pekka walked off in a hurry. She must be really desperate to touch something fluffy. But based on this, I feel like I was able to significantly close the distance between me and Pekko. Next time, I might be able to talk to her normally. Well, wouldn't that be a fine and swell situation? I decided to go back to my room for now. Alright, so basically I just do this a bunch of times. I'm totally down for that! I get to know the characters and make friends and it's, it's all fun and good and nobody has to die. I like that a lot! FULL SPIRIT! Nakamaro seems to be feeling pretty good. I guess that's the sign that they're feeling ultra pumped. Gotcha. Okay, Nagito, you may rest. As much as working you to exhaust. Excuse me. As much as working you to exhaustion sounds hilarious. Oh, I should check. And now's a bad time for hiccups! Anyway, yeah, I have enough stuff for the stuff, so boom. Alright. Okay, so I had two days left. That's enough. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so, oh, dearie me. Alright, yep, 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 yep. Everybody who's super duper ultra tired, y'all go and take yourself some naps. It's all good. Don't you even, don't you fret none about that, none so ever. Now, that all being said, I suppose I should just send people to places, I guess. Chiaki, I, I'm not sure if you touched a cow and did it now yet, so you just keep on doing that. We are gonna need some people to clean up. All right, though, uh, Nekumaru, you d you go to the coast. Grab grab some stuff if you can. Fuyuhiko, you check out the castle. Yeah. Terra Terra, you can also go to Electric Avenue. Uh, Soda, yeah, you don't have enough energy for that. You can go to Rocket Punch. And Gundam and Byakuya, you help with the cleaning. Yes. I might end up having to spend an entire day just cleaning, but eh, that's fine. Begin! Search for various things! Oh damn, look at Nekamaru go! He's digging like a madman! Also, Jabba Cabbage! Don't think I didn't notice the Jabba Cabbage. It's interesting how some characters have different animations. Also, don't think I didn't notice Akane! Was that a detail actually necessary? Did they need to add that? That seems unnecessary. All right, definitely gonna have to to spend a, a, a cleaning day. All right, I should definitely try to use these tickets, I guess. 
I wonder how many of them I have to use before I can do that. That's an interesting conundrum. All right, well, maybe I will do that after I fill up the peco meter. Yeah, let's spend time together. I want to be your friend. And now that there's no danger of anybody getting hurt, I have every opportunity to. Oh, uh, she wants to do more running. Then run we shall. Two days in a row, though. Oof. All right, would I like to give her a gift? As a matter of fact, I would. So let's just zoom our way uh, all the way back down. All right, let's see here. Secret Twin Sword Book. It is more than acceptable for you to have this, Peko. You deserve it. You deserve nice things. You mentioned earlier that you don't know much about swords, right? Yeah, I've never held a bamboo sword before. Or any sword, for that matter. However, People cannot be judged by their appearances. So you've held an actual sword. Just not a bamboo sword. Of course not! I've only held toy swords, not bamboo or real ones. I see. So you're saying you have no use for a sword. I have no practical use for a sword. That doesn't mean I don't own one. I mean, yeah, it's a replica of an anime weapon, but I still own a sword. And it it's made of metal. It would hurt if I hit somebody with it. Then are you a striker? Or maybe you're a grappler? No. No, perhaps you're well-versed in firearms. Well, well hey, hold on. What are you talking about? Let me explain it more clearly. I completely suck at all those things. I'm not saying I have poor reflexes, but I already know I'm not the warrior type. I see. Given your strangely perceptive way of seeing things, I assumed that you were, but... However... Just as you said, you do not have the presence of a warrior. Even if you lost your actual memories, you would not easily lose your muscle memory. Basically. Which means, you're not suited for battle in the slightest. Peko gave me a terse stare, and I couldn't help feeling a tingle run up my spine. Is she trying to figure out my talent? Does she want to know what it is, just in case I pose a... I, I post a threat? I believe that's pose a threat. I don't intend to fight my friends at all. I definitely don't want to do that. Understood. I see. If that's the case, then we must be extremely cautious of those two. Anyway. They know the difference between weakness and strength, and they can compensate for each other's weaknesses. And they both have impre impressive offensive capabilities. If those two formed an alliance, they could tr truly pose an unimaginable threat. The dangerous alliance Pekka was talking about. She's probably talking about them, right? Fuyuhiko and Kazuichi, Akane and Nekumaru, or Mikan and Ibuki. If I had to guess, I don't see Fuyuhiko and Kazuichi and Mikan and Ibuki being the, the, the deadly combo sort. Uh, are you talking about Akane and Nekumaru? Yes. Though they would only fight in self-defense, they are both perfectly at ease doing it. Plus, the combination of an impressive athlete and team manager pose a formidable threat. You're not wrong. Just not- not just that. Though they do not specialize as fighters, their fighting prowess is incredibly high. Yeah, I thought that was really interesting, the fact that they're a gymnast and a team manager and yet can still kick massive amounts of ass. Their talent hasn't really have anything to do with their ability to fight, but still, I found it interesting. <laughs> However, if something were to happen... Well, hold on, what are you talking about? Please do not fight them. I like them, and I like you, and I'd like that to not be a thing. It's pretty weird that you're assuming we'd even need to fight them in the first place. We'll get out of this place if we cooperate with each other. Why do we need to think about fighting anyone? Hajime, you speak the truth. I, too, would prefer to avoid any senseless killing. A few of these characters I actually really am interested in talking to because I know for a fact that there isn't enough free time to finish their stories before they died in the story. So... I'm interested to see, like, do their the rest of their, their 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 free time segments, like, reflect the fact that maybe they shouldn't be around? Like, I assume the uh, ultimate imposter, I feel like that's probably the case. However, there are times when swords must be drawn, whether you want that or not. What does that mean? Every human being has a duty to fulfill their destiny. That will never change, and there is no need for it to ever change. Hey. However... I do not dislike your way of thinking, Hajime. Who eh? Hey, Peko! Even though I called for Peko, she walked away without looking back at me once. I thought I was understanding her, but now I feel like I don't know her at all. Just gotta keep on keeping on, my dude. Never give in, never surrender. I should go back to my room for now. Where the nighttime happens. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm starting to get it, I'm starting to get it. I gotta get myself into a good rhythm. 
Oh, yeah. I think I need a lot of people spending time cleaning today. I mean, we have enough time. We've already finished the flower pin, so it's not that big a deal. All right. Although, that being said, Chiaki and Hajime desperately need some naps. Nobody's feeling ultra super pumped today. So, you know what? These neutral ones, you guys can just take naps, too. As for everybody else... Okay, well, we desperately need a lot of people on cleaning duty. So, you know what? All the dudes who are capable and not taking a nap, you're all on cleaning duty. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're going to need at least another cleaner. Just to balance that whole thing out. Uh, you know what, Pecco? You help clean. Okay. Then, everybody else... You can all spend time in the various places, like so. Yes. There we go. That way we're getting a lot of cleaning done. We're getting stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. No penalties for us. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's how Nekomaru naps. Oh, that's actually kind of funny. Cleaning up. Come clean the house. There we go. That's, that's a profit of, of cleanliness. I really like these sprites. They're really cute. All right, what would I like to do? Well, I think we all know. All right, so tomorrow will, I guess, be the, the due date for our, our project. So that's interesting. I'm also going to have to figure out another thing that I that she might end up liking. Interesting. Eh, I can always look it up. I mean, this is a bonus mode. These are bonus videos. I can cheat in the sense that I can figure out what the items are best for people. Ah. Then Three solid days of running around the beach. Not a bad way to spend time. Alrighty. I mean, there are definitely worse ways. Let's be real. All right, zoom in all the way downtown. Actually, I wonder if she'd like these too. Fuyahiko liked them a lot, so it's possible. Uh, there's a replica sword. I feel like she wouldn't really have much use for a replica. I'll try out the antique dolls next time. It's always acceptable. Enjoy things. Love yourself. It feels like she's making an even more intense face than usual. Is she worried about something? I can't tell if I should ask or not. Okay, you're definitely worried about something. Is it the fluffy? Hey, are you alright? You're starting to turn pale. And you weren't exactly tan to begin with. What? Was I? What? Were you, what were you even trying to do? No. Well, actually... I was trying to smile. Huh? Mahiru told me that I'm the only one who doesn't smile for her pictures. Wow, even Fuyahiko? <laughs> and this is like, uh, without his character development. Although, admittedly, the free time stuff would still carry on as if they did. That's interesting. Either way. So, I thought I should do something about it, but it's harder than I thought. Hey. So, will you try to make me laugh? I haven't the ever-loving clue. Slightest clue. How I would do that. This is sudden. Anything is fine as long as it's funny, so give it a try. You're acting like you lowered the bar, but it's still really high. Could it be? I know. If it's possible, I'd like it to have something to do with animals. That might be something that stirs warm feelings inside me. Well, that may be, but... Um... Pandas are adorable. Uh, panda walks into a restaurant. Eats, shoots, and leaves. Yes. I already know they do that. Crap, I botched the delivery! It's not even that clever of a joke! <laughs> However, pandas are nice. Their white and black fur is very adorable and fluffy. That's a smile! Someday I would like to try to touch one. Pecco's face seemed to soften a little when she said that. Even though my joke completely failed to land, then I guess this'll do. I apologize. You helped me, Hajime. I can't really smile that well. I've been like this ever since I was young. Yeah, I saw your, I saw your baby picture. The childhood friend and I always played... I always played with, used to cry, and say my face was scary. I wonder who that could be. There was also a time when my first love coldly told me that too. Even so, I never really needed to smile. Also, they were a jerk, so I, I never thought about it all that much. And because I completely neglected it, I forgot how to do it entirely. It's not normal for someone to forget how to smile. I feel like that's, uh, that's a serious problem. Was she subjected to an outrageous amount of harsh training? Or is there another reason? Hajime, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. Anyway, I'll make sure to tell you a funnier joke next time. That would be wonderful. I'll be looking forward to it. I kept chatting with Pekko for a while and spent time thinking of ideas for funny jokes. Lord, I only knows if that's gonna work out. Regardless, I feel pretty happy about this. 
I, re I, I realize they're not exactly, you know, the most super interesting thing, but I really enjoy the free time events. I like getting to know these characters. And then everybody took a nap. Oh boy. I need to get some materials to, like, boost cleaning efficiency. So today's the day, huh? Guess I better review everything one more time. The goal was one flower pin. And a flower pin is what we've got. Like, how do I get a elephant dust cloth? I need special beast meat and bags. A whole bunch of wooden saws. Oh my goodness. That's, uh, that's a lot of stuff. But yeah, I need to try and collect stuff for this. Okay. Well... I'm not entirely sure what to go for specifically. Although, hey, Medicine of Hope grants hyper energy for the next assigned task. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff to this. <laughs> did, 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 did a black flower actually seriously require white a white flower and paint? That's funny. Okay, you did very well. Here are some tickets. I received eight trip tickets. Neat. Sorry to interrupt again. How did your first class goal go? As good as it gets, I suppose. If you found it difficult, I have some good news. This mode has its very own New Game Plus cycle. Once your collection level and cleaning level carry over... Oh, only it does, but you'll be able to take another shot at it. Well, that's good, because I'm definitely going to need to. Even if you're not good at stuff like this, as long as you don't give up, you'll make your way through it. And then, once everybody's super fantastic at everything, then they'll be able to get everything and clean super fast and great... Gotcha, because of the level up. Some people are better at others than others. Gotcha! Still, success is possible in a single playthrough. Maybe you can accept the challenge someday. Getting all of the hope fragments, if you didn't do it any from in the, the start of the game, like the actual main story, I'm going to say is no. A gorgeous flower pin. Two of them. He gets. Yeah. I'm planning to try hard. Until I get sleepy, that is. Aw, oh, damn. Chiaki's looking fired up. You can tell by the intense stare in her face. In those eyes. Those are the eyes of somebody with a goal. Alright, so what do I need, I wonder? A bunch of stuff. Alright, you know what? Uh, then if you're fired up, I need you can go work at Nizumi Castle. So, yeah, actually. Akane, you help her out. And then... Uh, I feel like the cleaners should just keep cleaning I, for now. Hajime! Oh, Hajime! Oh boy, we're gonna need... Apparently, gold and silver. That's, uh, that's not going to be easy. All right, you, you and Soda and Nekumaru all look for some gold and silver. You know, maybe some rubies, sapphires, emeralds, you know, all that stuff, too. And that's not bad. We don't need to touch any cows today, so... Uh, oh, you can find gold in the electric avenue. So then we will do that. Oh, you two do... Yeah, you, you two work together for that. And I suppose we're still good. Uh, Abuki, yeah, you can help. And I suppose that's good. Yeah. Man, that's a... I really need to boost people's uh, abilities to clean. Because uh, having this many people doing that all the dang time is going to be a bit of an issue. All right, we got some iron. We got some silver. Uh, boy. Let's see. It doesn't look like we got any gold, but we did get some silver. All right. Not, not, not bad. Some, we got a flower. Yeah. Progress. Progress. What would I like to do? Meet with somebody. Obviously. Obviously, I'd like to meet with somebody and maybe talk to them a little bit. If you show the shame with you, I'll dare say. Okay. Uh, how close am I with Becco right now? Ah, two left. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so I was going to actually try out those antique dolls. Fuyu liked them, so it would make just as much sense for her to like them too. Let's go for it! Do, 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 do. I might lose my edge. Oh, she still wants to run! Good lord, my legs have been made... They've been turned into a jelly. Jelly that's been put under a sink and a heat lamp. My god. But I'd like to give her a gift, obviously. All right, so, antique doll. Let's see if she likes those. Uh, antique dolls, antique dolls, antique dolls. Antique dolls, where are you? The fun box, I've definitely passed it, I feel. Hang on. Just give me a second. Uh, that's the tips and tricks. That's the Hope's Peak ring. That's an apron dress and sunflower. 
Why did I read this? Huh, weird. And no, I guess I didn't. So then that means it must be further down. Antique doll! Do you like it? What? Oh, she does! You're giving this to me? Hajime, you... I will never forget this favor for the rest of my life. Hey. Listen to this, Hajime. I have discovered a revolutionary technique. A revolutionary technique? Are you talking about how to smile? Yes. Yes. Hiyoko taught it to me. Doubt. I have a bad feeling about this. I have not attempted it yet, but I have properly memorized how to do it. First, I must hook my fingers to both sides of my mouth. And if I pull them to the side and up a little, it will resemble smiling. That's just for show, though. However... That is not all. Apparently, there is a magic spell you can use in this state to make yourself and anyone else laugh. Magic spell? So basically... Apparently, I must pull both sides of my mouth with my fingers and chant, I was born on a pirate ship. Though I'm skeptical, I shall attempt it. That is very silly. No, stop. This is a prank little kids play on each other. A magic spell, really? Jeez, Yoko, you do a lot of screwed up things. Hajime, why did you stop me? It's nothing you've done wrong, but I, I don't think you can really call that a smile. I think it'll be more like a smirk or something similar to that. I see. So, just as I thought, there's no way for me to make someone smile since I'm incapable of smiling. I didn't mean it like that. Mahiru showed me her photos the other day. They were filled with images of smiling faces. I don't know how else to say this, but they were very nice photos. I learned that smiles give people power. And I remembered when I was a kid. Oh dear. There was a time when my childhood friend and I nearly got lost on the mountains. Lost in the mountains? Did you wander away from your parents? No. No, we were forced into someone's car. That's a bit of an important detail! Isn't that kidnapping? Well, it was fine until I saw a chance for us to escape. Afterwards, we got lost in the mountains. You're being really calm about this, but that's an intense situation. I desperately tried to cheer up my friend, but I was also scared and worried. My friend could make that sense of this as well, so in the end, I ended up making him cry. If I had been able to smile and tell him that everything was going to be okay, even if it was a lie, I might have been able to take away his fear. I haven't grown at all since then. Oh, Pecco. So, what happened? Were you both saved? Well, of course. Obviously. My sword is a tool to protect people. I made sure I protected my friend, like the badass you is! Protect, huh? Pecco became strong for that sake, but because she became too strong... Hey, Pecco, I want to help out too, if you don't mind. <laughs> huh? Let me help you until you can finally smile on your own. Isn't it too early to give up now? I want to be your friend! Hajime, to tell you the truth, there is more- more thing- There is more thing I would like you to do. I've- I-, I there are thing I would like you to do too, but I'm listening. And me? I need, um... What? No, wait, hold on. I, I need to prepare myself a bit more. When the time comes, I'll tell you. So, uh, until then, please forget what I said. Excuse me. I don't really understand, but Pekko quickly vanished. Why were her cheeks red? Or pink, as the case may be. Could it be... No, that's impossible. There's no way Pekko is interested in me. Well, that's an interesting turn. I don't think I've ever seen Hajime imply that with any of the other ones so far. There's no way, right? I mean, I don't know. Quite frankly, I kind of ship her and Fuyuhiko a little too much to allow that sort of thing, but... I mean, it's... What? Are we gonna, are we gonna lie to ourselves and say Pekko isn't pretty? Because if you say that, you're lying to yourself. She's damn pretty. I mean, all the girls in this game are. As I went back to my room... I mean, I like more than, some of that more than others, but still. You know, none of them are bad by any stretch. I kept telling myself over and over that there's no way. That implies part of him is open! Everyone, it's dang old night time! Good night! Alright. Holiday? What kind of holiday? Everyone. Today is your day off! It's important to rest once in a while, so I decided to give you a day off once a week. When, if, you won't be able to explore, but you can use this time to, fulfill, to the fullest to get along with everyone. So what, does that mean I get like maybe... Two of these to do? What should I do? Or who should I talk to, as the case may be? Well, I mean, I only got one more with Pekko, so... Pekko it is! 
Will she make me run at the beach again? Probably. Let's be real. However. Yes, the answer was yes. <laughs> Wouldn't. Pekko likes running. That's fine. And yes, I'd like to give her the gift. She really liked that antique doll. I don't entirely get it, but you know what? I don't need to get it. Oh, okay, so there we go. I will not question your sincerity. Uh, Hajime, uh, about our previous matter. Yeah? So the time has finally come. Oh, we're actually staying on that. Okay. I, I don't really know why, but my heart is racing like crazy. This place is no good. Let's talk somewhere else. I followed Pekko until we arrived at the beach. We were completely alone. Well, obviously this isn't going to go the way that Hajime thinks it's going to. Pekko's blushing. She looks like she wants to say something, but she's keeping silent. This is it. There's no question. It's obviously something else. I should man up and say it first. Ah. Uh, let's not make an idiot of ourselves. I am absolutely positive that's not what she was going for. So I'm going to say, what do you want? I'm just going to ask you outright. Uh, what do you want me to do? Y yes, of course, actually. I, that even sounded like the right option. It's like, no, Hajime, we're not going to make idiots of ourselves. I was wondering if you could give me advice on asking someone out on a date. Yeah, you are interested in Fuyu. D date? What? Fool, don't say it out loud. What would happen if someone heard us? M May I ask who you're interested in? No. I can't say that. However, you're the only one I can ask for help with this. I, I beg of you. Consider it a big favor to me. The, the only thing I know for certain is the person she wants to ask out isn't me. Uh, disappointing? Yes, but Pekko is a cool gal and we are her friend, so we shall help her in the, in the prospect of making her happy as a friend. That's just part of being a friend, man. Come on. <laughs> well, that's obvious. I, I, I knew it. Even if we were getting along, there's no way someone Pe like Pekko would ask me out. Although he is clearly disappointed by it, you must power through. If your feelings if your feelings for someone are truly as strong as you claim them to be, then obviously you would be more than happy to help them get to what they want in life. And if that happens to be somebody else, then you need to help them get there. Because their happiness should always be above your own. That's true affection. Hmm. If we're able to escape this island, I'm thinking about asking him out. And when I do, I want to see my smiling face this time. Oh, you want him to see. Gotcha. This time? Do you mean your childhood friend? Right now, he's been forced to fight a lonely battle. A battle against himself. A battle against himself? Is he sick or something? All right, come on. Then again, I suppose the way that these are framed, we... It'd be... We don't learn about... Uh, Pekko and Fuyahiko's relationship until the trial where she gets executed, so... Yeah, I guess we wouldn't know. Maybe that's why Pekka wants him to see her smile. Fine, I got it. I'm not all that experienced myself, but I think it's fine if you don't overthink it and just casually ask him, let's do something together. You want him to smile, right? You just have to make him feel like smiling. However, It'd be great if I could do that, but I don't know if I can. Hmm. Then why don't you imagine his smiling face? His smiling face? I see. Now that you mention it, I remember this one incident. At the time, he had this really handsome smile. Oh, this is cute. Jeez. I guess Pekko does know how to smile. That's it. As long as you make that face when you ask him out, there's no way he'd say no to you. Hajime, even though it's only a little, I feel like I understand now. Smiling is not something you have to force. When your heart gets warm, smiles come to you naturally. I was too desperate to protect something, so I had completely forgotten something s as simple as that. Thank you. Thank you for making me remember that which is most important to me. No problem. You can't tell, but I'm thumbs up in my TV screen. Aw, I'm actually really happy to help her. Seriously, I ship the hell out of you too. Make it work, people. In this alternate dimension where nobody gets hurt, that's what I want more than anything. Nah, I really didn't do much. By the A. By the A? Uh, what incident did you remember? <laughs> it's something that happened when we were kids. Now that's a smile. We went to the zoo and he ended up picking a fight with the king of the monkeys. To protect him, I threw myself into the fray. As Pekko reminisced about... Oh, are we not getting the rest of the story? That's all we're getting. 
She looked cuter than I'd ever seen her before. I'm a little jealous of her friends, but I guess this is fine too. Because now the Pekko is opening up to me, there's no doubt that a strong bond is formed between us. There you go. Okay, Hajime. I was hoping that you'd see it that way. If your feelings for Pekko are true, you'd want her to be happy more than you'd want to be with her. That's just a fact. I also uh, unlocked the skill Lightning Flash! Alright, so I definitely forgot that that's the underpants she wore and that we knew that ahead of time. I keep getting caught off guard by that! After staring at the ocean for a while and listening to Pekko's story, I went back to my room. Okay, well... Oh yeah, so I do get more than one. Okay, so how about we use one of these uh, trip card thingies? Huh? Seems to make the most sense. Alright, so everybody, you got one guess. Who do you think I'd shoot for that kind of ending with? Really, you've got one guess. I'm gonna... You know what? If you're watching this, straight up, legitimately, let's see how incredibly obvious it has been or not, okay? I want you to actually comment. I want you to say before... I want you to pause the video and say in the comments, Oh yeah, you know what? I think he's gonna go for that character. And then, I want you to come back up and see if you're right, and then tell me if you were right. Let's find out if I'm- if, if- 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 Let's find out if I was as subtle as I thought I was, or if it was blatantly obvious to literally everybody that could- could see. Let's definitely go with that. Also, the- the- I guess you rehatched. That's pretty good. Alright, so, I'll assume that you did it, and that everybody on the planet guessed correctly. Yeah, we're gonna talk to Akane, okay? Let's just do it. <laughs> Use the trip ticket! Oh! Okay. Uh, where would you like to go? Uh, dang. Well, out of these places? Where would she want to go? I wonder. Well, I mean, the beach is a pretty... S I feel like that's a pretty safe bet. Let's go for that one. Oh, dang, we're actually traveling. We arrived at the beach. An endless blue ocean and a white beach is truly... This spot is fit for a tropical island. Looks like there's no one else here except us. What should we do now? Let's see... Um, wow, okay, these are options. Um, you know what? Let's go with fishing. I see. Fishing's awesome. Depending on what you catch, you can totally eat it right away. When I go fishing all day long with my little brothers and sisters, we don't worry about food for a while. Oh, so you actually have done that before. That works. <laughs> I wonder what kind of stuff we'll catch here. I can't wait. Let's catch a big one together and let the others eat it, too. Looks like she had a really good time. Then I didn't fail. Hell yeah. So, considering the amount, do you think I have to, like, do a bunch of these? Like, do I have to, like, keep using these on her and and eventually see what happens? I mean, sure. Why not? Let's give it a try. Thanks for today. I had so much fun. Then I feel pretty good about myself. Hey. Oh, so this is actually... Yeah, okay, that's legitimate. Okay, so when you use one of these things, you're actually legitimately asking someone out on a date. That's that's actually some good subtext to know. I heard that dating is what you do when you have money, but somehow this was totally different. I don't mind spending time with you, so you better ask me out again next time. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure, I do that. <laughs> yeah, wow, actually hearing her say it's kind of embarrassing. To be honest, I don't really want to go home yet, but I can't defeat an empty stomach. Let's walk home slowly for now. I'm feeling pretty good about that one. Oh, okay, that one, my, my back popped something fierce. Ow. All right, everybody get yourself some naps. Get yourself some naps. Get yourself some naps. Everybody here now, everybody here now. Whoop. <laughs> Kia! I feel so pumped up that I could probably make like a hundred songs. Buki seems to be feeling rather swell. Alrighty, so let's see. How about I do one more day? Then I'll actually uh, take myself a bit of a break. Okay, so the things we need. Alright, well, we des we definitely need a Buki to look for that there paint. Okay, but we need... Oh, we also need to go to the military base. Okay, so Buki, you go there. Akane? No, you guys are doing fine so far. But Sonya? No, we still need gold. And tree vines? Oh man, we still need so much stuff. Well, it's a good thing we have so many days to work with. 
All right, well, let's dial it back ever so slightly. Let's... Let's focus on these specifically for now. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. And actually, okay, so Gundam and Byakuya actually aren't that good at that. So let's actually put you guys here. And wow, Teru Teru is better at uh, that Teru Teru. Uh, Nekumaru is actually better at cleaning than he is searching. That's interesting. Okay, okay, but let, yeah, let's actually like try and strategize this. Yeah, obviously you'd be better at cleaning, so you don't do that. Oh wait, so is Paco actually. All right, well you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, you have enough. Yeah. Actually, seeing as how you guys have that much energy, really should probably try and do that. Yeah, this should be okay. Yeah, let's let, let's do this. Give it a go! Come on, get some gold. Hey, we actually did get some gold. Not bad. And then... Alright, we also got some stuff. We got some paints. We got some more silver. We got some stuff. Oh, and level ups! People be leveling up? I didn't know that was a thing they could do. Did they get better at searching for stuff? That'd be pretty baller if it was. Alright. I don't have the slightest idea how many of these things I need to use to get a love, love ending. But I'm willing to keep going. I'm gonna give it a try. Alright, let's just keep using trip tickets. Okay, so where else do you would you want to go? I mean, she seemed to really enjoy that, uh, the, the, the roller coaster. So let's go to the amusement park, where hopefully there might be some amusement. We arrived at Nizumi Castle. Apparently this whole island is an amusement park. I shouldn't say much about the design for many reasons. Mostly copyright. Looks like there's no one else here except us, so... Let's walk around eating stuff. Let's climb that castle. Do you want to hold hands? Okay, so admittedly... Huh. That is an interesting conundrum. Now that I know that these are technically dates... Now I'm left wondering... Uh, I feel pretty confident that let's walk around eating stuff is going to be what she wants to do the most. I mean, she loves food more than she even loves physical activity, so... <gasps> yeah, that was a pretty safe bet. I don't know why I even thought about it. Really? I've been smelling a lot of different things, so I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. Smell. It's mostly sweet smells, but I think I can smell some meat, too. Ah, damn it, I can't hold it anymore. I'll sprint ahead, so you better keep up with me. Oh, looks like she had a really good time. We took those! We take those happily. Thanks. Thanks for today. I had so much fun. Hey. Yeah, okay, so I guess that's just what she's... I, I feel like that's probably, like, the best case scenario thing for her to say when you do a good job. So, let's shoot for the moon on those. Shoot for the moon! Make Akane happy! Alright. So, so far in this recording session, I managed to get the rest of Chiaki's and all of Pekka's, and I've started dating Akane. So really, I think this is all in all pretty swe swell and wonderful time. And the next part, we'll continue going forward with all of this. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves on these interesting little bonus videos. And I'll see you all next time. Later!